Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Memo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at not these two magnificent pieces by Fans Hoppy, but G2 Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. Let's dive in. And starting things off with the packaging, we do have the new infamous closed front boxes done in the nice purple color scheme and the artwork is amazing showing the alt mode and robot mode legacy transformers leader class side of the box does have just a zoom zoom in on the front artwork but it looks really good and on the other side you do have some more legacy artwork looks really nice but we're not here for boxes are we the Instruction manual is what you would expect. This time done in purple and white. The moving parts are indicated in blue and it does an okay job of getting the, through the transformation. No complaints really. Here we have Prime Sword done in a clear blue plastic. It's nicely detailed and well done. No signs of bubbles. And we also get the axe, which looks really good honestly. It is well detailed and the sculpting looks fantastic. Even on the gray handle, it does fold up for storage purposes. So that is a nice touch. And you also have the ability to bring in the sword and combine them. Just make sure that the tab on the sword is facing towards the back. And you do have a very nice clear plastic mega sword. Let's start off by taking a look at the trailer. Overall, it's mostly done in the swirly plastic, which is disappointing. It does come through quite a bit. The red along the fuel system is painted, but there is nice detail throughout. Wheels are painted silver with detail underneath inside to the wheel wells. Coming around to the front, detail underneath, which is nice. Again, here's where you can really see the swirly plastic come through which is very disappointing. It's really a bummer. And then there's the V from the back. You can both peg it onto prime or use this as legs to park it and stand it up. As far as trailer transformation, it is very simple. Simply pull forward on this section and really bring these sections down that's all you do and then you have the ability to bring the section down to be a repair bay or further transformation you want to just pivot this all the way down and that provides you with a battle station. Overall, for what it does, is not too bad. Looking at the alt mode, it does have its good points and it's bad. I do like the red paint over the black plastic. It looks really good. Nice chrome on all the wheels. No visible mushrooms, which is nice. You do have some sculpted detail fuel tanks are a little disappointing one because they're gray plastic and two because the slightest motion will send them into robot mode it's a bit disappointing nice blue transparent glass on the front wish it were painted just because you can see all the bits inside you do have silver painted on the grill and bumper which looks good although that's a missed opportunity there for a faction symbol on the front Matter of fact, the only faction symbol is right here on the side. And then you do have silver paint on the smokestacks. Very nice clean roof, but again, no painted detail. So it's hit and miss and yeah, there you see it's gone back into alt mode already. Overall, alt mode is okay.
that is a problem. So let's take a look at Laser Prime. Not a fan of the head sculpt just because the eyes aren't painted. So they definitely do cast a shadow that gives them a very serious dead look. The silver and on the mouthpiece and crest are painted. It looks nice. Overall the sculpt is okay. I just, I just wish they would have done the eyes different to give it a more vibrant look. Red and black plastic going across the shoulders, coming to his high shoulder pads. Silver paint, and these do open to, to reveal clear plastic missiles. Yellow on gray, and these sections do move up and down, giving you a little bit more as far as articulation. Nice silver paint going across the chest, which does open up, revealing the matrix, which is painted with silver, copper, and clear blue plastic in the center. You do have some nice detail on the inside. Brings you down to the blue painted grill, which is odd because the, the grill is silver in alt mode, but oh well. Again, nicely detailed on the sides. More detail on gray plastic for the crotch and thighs and then highly detailed lower legs done in black they look okay and blue for the feet does have a big old backpack but that is typical for the character a little bit of waffling on the back of the legs but overall it's pretty clean as far as articulation, the ball point on the head or the ball joint on the head is extremely tight, so it's difficult to even twist. And literally no up and down at all. Shoulder pads can move around. Arms can go up to there. And this side does not want to lock in for me very well. But they can go up to 90 degrees. They would be able to do a full 360 rotation if the shoulder pad wasn't there. 90 degrees on the arm, elbow. Be careful with these because they do just simply like to, to come off very, very easily. It's disappointing. No articulation on the hands except for a spin. And that is very, very loose. Waist rotation. Thighs or legs can kick all the way up, all the way back, and all the way to the side. Do have thigh rotation, more than 90 on the knee, and toes and heel can go up and down, or sorry, can go down, but not up. And you do have a rocker. So 
Sculpting and articulation are okay. Overall, but it's definitely not perfect. Now we can bring in his weapon. Just simply plugs into his hand. One issue that I have is the ball joints are so loose. Yeah, it has trouble even holding the weight for his own weapon, but it looks okay. We can go ahead and separate these into the axe and the sword. I think that looks pretty good. It's just disappointing that he didn't come with a gun. Here he is with Earthrise Prime. And you can notice the similarity in the legs. The only thing different is they remove these sections and replace them with a different detailed section. But the upper body is similar, but definitely a heavy remold. And here he is with Legacy Blaster, just for comparison. What do I think of the Legacy G2 Laser Optimus Prime overall? He's okay. Definitely does have his faults. The joint inconsistencies is definitely a problem. The head not being able to rotate very well. The arms wanting to come off their mushroom pegs and then the lower chest wanting to pop out. Those are definitely some troubling issues. They do simply pop back on, but it's still a pain in the butt. The hands not being able to really support the weight of the combined weapon as it's intended is disappointing. I mean, I realize that can be fixed with some kikis, but it still is a tolerance issue. Overall, the sculpting is very well done. The paint that is there looks fantastic. And it does really look like a G2 Laser Prime. So is this a recommend for me? Uh, if you want the character, definitely. Uh, it's not a character that I'm emotionally attached to in any way but i think that the mold is awesome i really do enjoy the fans hobby versions of this and their scourge so i didn't have any issue picking this guy up i did find mine at walmart so he is out there so good luck on your hunts if you haven't already please like the video subscribe to the channel and get your bell on these are some easy steps that you can do to help my channel grow immensely Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time.